Sapo was different. Sapo was always Sapo, and no one messed with him because he had a reputation for biting. I loved Sapo, because Sapo loved himself, and I wanted to be able to do that too, so I can rely on myself for happiness. As far back as I remember, Sapo has always been called Sapo, and no one called him by his real name, Enrique. But Sapo didn't look like an Enrique anyway, whatever en Enrique was supposed to look like. Sapo can only be Sapo. That's what everyone called him. Hey, what's up, man? Hey! Yeah, and tell your mama, nah. I looked for fights. With Sapo watching my back getting into fights was fun. During my three years at Julia de Burgos, I had more fights than Sapo. Because kung fu movies were so popular at the time, I was given the nickname Chino. I was happy with this name. Chino was a cool name. There was many guys named Chino in East Harlem, but it wasn't the name that was just given to you. And then there was Blanca. Blanca was a very smart and religious and beautiful girl. All the guys wanted her, but she would go on to become my wife. Chino, dude, you gotta do me the biggest favor. Now what? Can you hold on to this for me? Oh, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> thanks, man. You're not gonna regret it. Okay? All right, man. You I do me a big favor right now. Uh, all right, I got you, man. All right, thanks. All right, bye. Thanks, yeah. all right, bye. Bad guy. What's that? This is some top of the middle. You know, Sapo's bad news, right? What are you, my mother? He's a drug dealer, Julio. Oh, congratulations. Why can I give it that away? What's your problem? I married you because I thought you had brains. Look at Sapo. Bring you stuff like this for you to guard it for him. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh my god. Sapo has all this money, yet still lives in a dump like this because his money can't go anywhere else. You figured that out all by yourself? Did it occur to you that maybe Sapo likes it here? You no, know, not everybody wants the lifestyle you want, raising some brats. And here we are again, one of Blanca's famous rants. At this point I checked out, I had better things to worry about and besides I know what's best for me. She always claims that she knows what's best for me, but I know what's best. But anyway, yeah, I'll let her go on and on. After work, I decided to get something to eat before I went to school. I had two classes that night and Blanca had one. On my way to get some food, I saw Sopo's car parked in front of Lorena's bakery. Hey man, so what you doing here, bro? Same as you. Hey bro, what are you doing tonight? You gotta come with me, man. Nah, man, I got class tonight. Class, 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 dude. You always have a class, man. You gotta come live a little. Come on, come with me. Hey, fuck you, man. You don't know nothing. So, mira, I'm gonna drop you off at school, huh? All right? Yeah, man. I mean, it's better than paying a fare than ain't fair, you know? Come on, man. Close the door, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go see this dude Bodega. I've been putting in a good word for you, so you better not mess this up for me, alright? Alright, all right, I got you, man. Alright, let's go. Oh, Chino, what's up, bro? Come on in. 
Sapo, tell me about you, bro. You know, I heard you got an offer for me. All right, Chino. Let me explain to you a little bit about myself. Because I think Sapo just explained to you, you know, the simple shit, you know? Just selling, like, just selling some um, Coke. And uh, that's not the only thing I do, you see? I want to make Spanish Harlem better. And I think you can help me get there. You know, you can, you can like, help me own more buildings and make Spanish Harlem better for you and your wife and your child that's coming on the way, right? Yeah. Yeah, and... I didn't know this bodega guy much. I was only really here for the offer. You can already tell he's one to ramble going on about his life and stuff and all the stuff he owns. Just another drug dealer all hyped up on his accomplishments, on his high horse. I didn't really care much for it. So I just blocked him out. And because of this, the way I spend my money, I have now 14 families in two buildings that I own. And those 14 families, man, will riot for me. And they'll take a bullet for me. And you see, the point is, Chino, I don't just sell rocks. I sell dreams. Well, I don't know about all that. Let me go talk to my man Sapo real quick. Hey, Sapo! What you want, man? Hey, come here, man. I was about to beat the high score. I don't care about that, man. We got to talk. Man, I don't know about this whole uh, drug dealing thing. Oh, come on, man. I already put in a good word for you, dude. He's just trying to help out Spanish Harlem. You're home. Come on, dude. You got to do it. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, whatever. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, you looking for the, the good stuff? Yeah, bro, what you got for me? Let's see, I got, I got this, I got, you got, I got this. You want both? I got this, too. Uh, yeah. Thank you. What's up, bro? What's up? Got some stuff? Yeah, I got some stuff for you right here. What up, Bodega? What's up, Chino? Hey, man, I've been, I've been selling this stuff for you for like two weeks, man. I'm trying to look out for my family. I'm trying to move to a higher tier, you know? You know what, Chino? Me and you should take a walk, man. Alright. We'll go outside. Alright, Chino. Let me tell you something, man. You see, I didn't just start just with, uh, with a mansion, with owning a bunch of buildings, you know, owning buildings like that right over there. You know, I didn't start, own, I didn't start with being rich. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's also this other reason that I've been uh, doing this for. There's this girl named Vera, and she's a very important person for me. And she's the main reason I'm doing this. But not just that, you know, I also want to make Spanish Harlem better for everybody. And you know how, you know how important, you know, you know how you're driven by a woman to make you do things for the better right yeah man it's like what i'm doing right now for blanca and everything you know for my family you know it's really important to me too yeah that's that's the reason why i, I want to get back with her you know she left me for this rich cuban guy you know yeah, it's, it's rough and you know yeah man i see what you mean though i understand why you're doing this now i get you Remember, Chino, don't let this life consume you. No matter how hard it gets, remember one thing, man. You're doing this for Spanish Harlem. All right, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You can trust me. Hey, Chino! Oh, shit. What's up, 
up, bro? What is this? You got some good news for you, brother. <laughs> what? What? I'm gonna be your Theo, man. What? Look who came back. <laughs> Hi. Well, who is this? Ooh. It's Vera. What you talk about? Who's this? I don't. I've never met her. <laughs> man, come on, let us in, bro. Uh, okay. Here. What, like, what are you even here for, man? Wait, well, I didn't hear you, bro. I said, what are you here for? What do you mean I'm here for, bro? This is my building. I can walk in whenever I want. Anyways, who we just came over here, man? It's the love of my life, Vera. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Anyways, so she just came up to my door, man, and you know, we just started hanging out like like old times. Yeah, you're gonna teach me how to shoot a gun. Hey, uh, I think you guys are gonna have to go because I don't think Bark is gonna be okay with this. Anyways, I gotta give you some fun. Look, I know Bodega really loves me and all, but I don't wanna marry you. He gave this to me. I mean, are you sure? I mean, he really cares about you. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm sorry I've been out so much recently. It's just, I've been looking out for us. You know, I even got you something. Here. Where'd you get this from? From your aunt, Vera. She gave it to me while she was drunk. She was drunk last night. You can't take this. You need to give it back to her. A few days later, I found this man dead, shot and killed, but there was one distinguishable mark, and I knew who the killer was. Here's another death for you. Shocker, right? Turns out Vera shot her husband. Crazy. And the kill had occurred with Bodega's gun. Guess I see why she was so eager to learn how to shoot from him. But with all his love for Vera, Bodega tried to cover for her. Too bad that would ultimately lead to his downfall. Here we are now. All the things I did for Bodega, for Spanish Harlem, for my family. I kept feeding Blanca lies and she got sick of it. So she left. It's kind of ironic. I did it all for them. And now they're gone. Here lies Bodega. Murdered by one of his associates, all his dreams in one casket. Another friend I lost, but this one, permanently. I saw Sapo's car parked outside of the funeral. I didn't see him inside though. He wasn't really much for funerals. What's up, Chino? What's up? Yeah, man, I never really liked funerals. Yeah, kinda rough. Sucks he's, sucks he's gone, huh? She got me. He always got me. You're right, man. 